Hello, my name is Mohamed Umar. I'm from Salahadini College in Sulaimania, and I live in Sulaimania. And our project of is our project is of physics. It's of cosmology, determining the shapes of the universe and determining the beginning of the universe and the ending of the universe. What happens to the universe after all? And what is the fate for the universe? And what is singularity? Uh, what's big currents and big things like that? Uh, the shape of the universe, uh, scientists think that we may never know the shape of the universe, but it may be uh, finite but arbitrarily large. It may be finite but arbitrarily large. The shape may be a sphere. The shape may be a sphere. And according, if it's high density, it ha it's a high mass, so its gravitational force is high enough to uh, stop the expansion and make it in a rate, in a rate of sphere. According to the properties of sphere, a sphere, something that sphere must have a beginning, and must have an end. So uh, something like spirit must have come from nothing and it will be everything at a moment and it will be go back to nothing. So the, our universe must have come from nothing and now it's everything and it goes back to nothing. The universe, uh, the birth of the universe is the Big Bang. Big Bang is uh, the birth of the universe. Scientists think that Big Bang is the birth of the universe. The, it makes the universe like this, infinitely small, infinitely a high density and infinitely large mass, so it once was sequestered into a volume, then exploded. Uh, and the, the three phases for the universe is big crunch, big crunch and big freeze and big rip. When dark energy is too low, big crunch happens. When dark energy is too high, big rip happens. Matter will be torn apart. And when uh, a big freeze happens, when the universe reaches zero thermodynamic level. Dark energy is used for the expansion of the universe. And singularity is a point at the center of the black hole, which is infinite mass and infinite volume. Nothing can leave it. Uh, that's all.